Hi, my name is Stefan von Andriessen, Laser Optics Product Line Manager at Edmund Optics. Today, I'm going to talk about beam expander configurations and designs. A laser beam expander is an afocal optical assembly that takes an input collimated beam of light and expands its size, or when used in reverse, reduces its size, while maintaining a collimated output beam. Beam expanders are also useful for decreasing the divergence of your beam. Expanding a beam reduces the divergence by a factor of the magnification of the beam, and conversely, decreasing beam diameter will increase divergence. There are two main configurations of beam expanders, transmissive and reflective. Transmissive beam expanders can be split into two different designs, Keplerian and Galilean. Keplerian beam expanders feature a basic design. These beam expanders require at least two positive lenses in series, space the sum of their focal lengths apart to focus the beam to a point, and then expand the beam as it starts to diverge beyond the focal point. Keplerian beam expanders are ideal for lower power applications because the internal focal point can be used as an ideal position for a spatial filter allowing for an easy and effective beam cleanup. Galilean beam expanders use a more compact design, featuring a concave lens followed by a convex lens, with the same spacing used in Keplerian designs. These are more compact because of the use of the concave lens, which has a negative focal length value. The sum of the focal lengths results in a shorter distance. Galilean beam expanders are also advantageous when using higher power laser systems, because a Keplerian design's internal focal point can cause the air to become ionized, reducing transmitted energy, and creating potentially harmful energy levels. In practice, these can be multi-element systems that allow you to add features such as divergence control or variable magnification. Reflective beam expanders expand your beam using a series of mirrors, similar to telescope designs. The first mirror in the system is typically a convex mirror. When the light hits the convex mirror, it begins to diverge. The next mirror in the system is typically a concave mirror. Space the sum of the two mirrors' focal lengths away. This spacing is very important. If you were to place the mirrors any distance apart that does not equal the sum of their focal lengths, you will not output a collimated beam. Fixed and variable magnification beam expanders achieve the goal of expanding a beam in two different ways. Fixed magnification beam expanders do not allow for a change in magnification. However, they can adjust for divergence, whereas variable magnification beam expanders allow us to reposition the internal lens components to various positions, giving you the ability to change magnification. When choosing a beam expander, two design options are available, rotating or non-rotating lens mechanics. Rotating optics can cause beam wander during focus adjustment, but are the economical option. Non-rotating or sliding optics minimize beam wander and are a more expensive option. When optical engineers are designing a beam expander, they typically design for the lowest possible wavefront distortion. One of the most common aberrations in beam expanders is spherical aberration and this is often the dominant source of wavefront distortion. For more information on our beam expanders, visit our website at www.edmanoptics.com slash beam expanders.